Hello and welcome to a special edition of The Big Fight. It's special because we are really taking a look at India's foreign policy and whether we've almost systematically got it wrong all of these years. Is India at risk? Has it been at risk? Uh, and what perhaps could be done. And by the way, we're also going to touch upon one of the big subjects that has been very much making the headlines all week long. And that's the entire question of, had the leadership been different just after independence, would life have been very different? If, for example, Sadat Patel had actually been India's first prime minister, would things have gone a different way? So we're going to touch upon uh, that uh, just a little bit as well as we, as we go forward. But it gives me great pleasure to welcome uh, onto the program and into our studio, Mr. Jaswan Singh, former Foreign Minister of India and the person who's just written India at, at Risk, which is, which is out there where he's, he's made many of these themes. So it's great to have you, have you with us. Uh, Randeep Singh Surjewala, Cabinet Minister uh, uh, in the Haryana government. Uh, it's wonderful to have you with us. Vivek Karcho, uh, former diplomat, has been really keeping a close view from inside and can perhaps tell us whether we've made a mess of things, as indeed uh, will Dr. Radha Kumar be able to tell us, who's a historian, author, columnist, uh, interlocutor in Kashmir, a whole, 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 whole range of things. It's always a pleasure to have Mr. D. Raja with us, National Secretary of the Communist Party of India, and somebody else who's going to give us an insider's view into how the government's handled all of these, Dr. Sanjay Baru, former media advisor to the Prime Minister and, of course, a, a, a leading a journalist as well. So it's great to have all of you with us. It's a really, really high-powered panel to help us understand the broad sweep of, of, of history and, and what we could have done right and what we could have done wrong. Other people are going to join us as well, but uh, for the moment, also joining us uh, from Islamabad, it's a great pleasure to welcome Sayyid Tariq Pirzada, who's a strategic affairs expert, who might be able to give us a bit of the Pakistani viewpoint of, of all that has happened. So why don't I start with you. Uh, the broad theme of what you've been saying is that we've often got it wrong. We've often done things which were, which we, we've made mistakes, we've had misconceptions on how we should handle our security and uh, lots of misadventures as well. That's very clearly the sub-theme. Yes, it is indeed because uh, this is an attempt uh, at the kind of a political military analysis, not history, an analysis of the last 66 years of independent India. This book is, the, I think, the first attempt to travel this path along with independent India from independence to as current a situation as we have today. It's to try and understand where we could have done things differently. And of course it's uh, with the benefit of hindsight Mm. And it's obvious that hindsight is always 2020. Uh, and so what we see as a mistake in retrospect, sitting here today, in the heat of the situation and the immediacy of finding solutions, but if there didn't appear to be a mistake, we should approach this entire question with as much understanding and concern and an attempt to go to those situations so that we try and put across as rational a situation as possible. By and large, has India been at risk? Have we by and large done things right or could we have done things wrong? And as, as Mr. Jaswan Singh said, this is of course with the, with the wisdom of hindsight. You know. It was a mistake to have gone to the United Nations you know, right, uh, you know, or partition itself. It was a mistake. Going to the United Nations, it was a mistake. Should we have been tougher with China? Should we have done something about Tibet much earlier? Was that a mistake? So I'm sure those are all some of the themes that will come up.